I thought I'd talk about golf video games. My favorite's always been NES Open for the original Nintendo. I remember playing this game as a kid, even before I was really interested in golf, and I always loved it. It's got everything you could want in a golf video game, and lots of features that were pretty ahead of its time. You play as Mario, which for a kid who grew up in the 80s and 90s is just the best, although this is probably the only time I've seen Mario in pink and black instead of his more traditional red and blue. All of the aspects of golf are here, and it's easy to figure out how to play the game. You aim, you select a club, you go into this down the line view, you press A to start the backswing, you press A to stop it, and you press A when you pass through the hitting area. Of course you can mistime things and you can hit a big hook or a big slice, just like in real life. The game does take some practice to be able to hit the ball straight, which again is pretty true to real life. And all the hazards are there. You can hit it in the water, you can hit it in the sand, you can hit it out of bounds, you can hit it right at this tree, which contrary to popular belief are not actually 90% air. While many other golf video games have the same basic idea as this one, NES Open has got so many little refinements that help you feel like you're actually playing golf. You've got this great selection of clubs, and you can go in and edit which clubs you want in your bag, which is a really cool feature. It's a bit of a sign of the times that you can select both a 2-wood and a 1-iron if you want to, but uh, you don't have access to like a log wedge or anything. But let's face it, this is the only time I'm ever going to bag a 1-iron, so it's actually pretty sweet. The wind plays a big role in the game, just like in real life, and you even have the ability to hit the ball high or low to take advantage of it. You can also put backspin or topspin on the ball, which is great, because I normally can't put backspin on the ball at will. The graphics are really good for the NES. The animations where your ball goes near the hole when you're putting, here Princess Peach is doing some color commentary for you or something like that, or when your ball lands in the bunker, are really awesome. After 30 years, I definitely still remember the music. Especially the tunes for when you make a birdie, or a par, or a bogey. The tournament mode gives you little extras, like the closest to the pin contest, the longest drive hole, which is, is cool. There's a match play mode as well, where you can play against Luigi, or this cowboy looking guy Steve. Uh, then there's this kid who looks like he should be out playing baseball instead of golf. Uh, this dude who's dressed in like head-to-toe orange and must have been modeled on John Ritter or something. And this big muscly guy who's the hardest to beat of the bunch. He's kind of like an 8-bit Bryson DeChambeau. One of my favorite parts of the game is when you finish off a tournament and you collect your prize money. You can take it back into the clubhouse and there's this bank that's being run by Donkey Kong for some reason. And then he adds up your winnings. That is just so satisfying. You really don't do much with the money, but you can play in a money game by betting on a single hole with a cowboy guy, so that's pretty fun. One of the craziest things about this game is I score about the same as I do in real life. In this tournament the other day, I shot a 90, one birdie, five pars, and a bunch of boogies. Yep, that's about right for me. Good enough to finish solo 37th, which earns exactly $500, which is way better than real life. NES Open does a pretty good job of scratching the golf itch. It can be frustrating at times, just like golf in real life. When you hit a good shot, it definitely sucks you in for another green fee, or another 20 minutes of playing. 